Good evening to those who are joining us via live stream. This is the People's Baptist Church. We're located at 5039 Baltimore Avenue, Philadelphia, PA 19143, where yours truly, the Reverend Eric J. Good, is the pastor. We come to remind you, as we do every time, that God is still in control, that God is still available, and that if you trust and never doubt, he will surely bring you out. Oh, come on, clap your hands and give God the glory. We honor the Lord and we give God the glory. Oh, taste and see that the Lord, he is good. Blessed is the man who trusteth in the name of the Lord. We've come on this Ash Wednesday to celebrate the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous they run unto it and they are saved. Come on, we give God the glory. I said we give God the glory. Mm. Hallelujah. We give God the glory. Hallelujah. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus. Hallelujah. We honor God. 
Dear God, we thank you now for the joy of this worshiping moment. Oh, God, we thank you for your divine presence this day. Thank you for the glory of God. Now, my Father, as we come to worship you, I pray, dear God, even now that you will forgive us of anything that we have said, thought, or even done that was displeasing in your sight. Uh, create within us a clean heart and renew within us a right spirit, O oh God. And then, O oh God, that we might be ready and meet for worship this day moment yeah. Yeah. now god somebody has come to this live burdened down depressed somebody has come suicidal somebody has come bowed down somebody has come lord feeling like they can't maybe lord in the name of the lord jesus christ may you break every burden may you be the lifter of the head even now in the name of the lord jesus dear god rebuke the devil on every side and oh god we thank you 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 hallelujah 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 we thank you now for your divine presence have your way Bless the singing that's going to take place. Yes, the ministry of music, the pre ministry of preaching. But most of all, bless the hearers. Yes. May you rebuke the devil who will try to take the seat of the word. May you all get glory and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, clap your hands and give God the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We welcome you uh, to the ministry of the People's Baptist Church. We come on this Ash Wednesday uh, to celebrate the greatness of our God as we prepare to head into the Lenten season, the road to Calvary, and ultimately uh, to the resurrection. For it does not stop at Calvary, but early Sunday morning, Jesus got up with all power. Oh, we bless the name of the Lord. And so we thank God for each of you. And I just certainly want to say to each of you that are watching me, uh, just on that, on your comment section, just go on ahead and just say a good evening to everybody. When you get on there, just go good evening to everybody on your mobile devices, however you will be watching us. I also want to give thanks to God for uh, those who are just our membership and pray. Thank God for your contribution uh, to the work of the Lord. I thank you so very very kindly for how you continue to support this ministry and I want to continue to offer uh, that opportunity for many of you to do just that and so there are three ways that you can give uh, to the ministry here at the People's Baptist Church uh, you can mail in your donation at P.O. Box 19848 uh, Philadelphia PA 19143 you can send it in the care of the People's Baptist Church again that is the uh, People's Baptist Church or you can download give a to your devices and type in the People's Baptist Church and type in your dollar amount, hit submit, you will receive a receipt or you can come in on a Sunday morning between uh, 9.30 and 11 and our trustees will be glad to receive your contribution. Once again, thank you so very kindly uh, for your contribution to the work of the Lord. It is prayer time and we do believe, brothers and sisters ladies and gentlemen uh, that God can answer prayer and so we give thanks with a grateful heart give thanks to the Holy One give thanks because he has given Jesus Christ his son and so brothers and sisters we come lifting up there are many that are on our prayer uh, that are here for our prayer concerns and uh, we most notably want to keep in prayer uh, sister Mary McCall who is still 
in Jefferson Hospital. We want to also remember in prayer Sister Rosemary Brown, who has returned home after a knee surgery on last week. We also want to keep in prayer, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, Deacon uh, Phillips, and uh, there are a few other names that I cannot remember at the moment. But we also want to keep in prayer the House of Faith uh, Baptist Church as they mourn the loss of their administrative pastor, the Reverend Eric Kinsey. And so we want to keep that church in prayer. Uh, most notably, let's keep that pastor in prayer. Let the church shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And so we're going for this hymn, for this prayer uh, song. We're going to sing Give Thanks with a Grateful Heart. And the Reverend Blanche Bashard D. Jahai will give us the prayer. I ask that you would center yourselves. There might be some prayer concerns. Type them in the section and we will lift them up on our altar, our virtual altar. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Glory. We believe God for miracles. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Glory to God. It's once again we come before you with thanksgiving in our heart. God, we thank you for just giving us another chance yes. just to say thank you. Yes, yes. God, we come to praise, to, to lift them up, God. Those that are sick, those that are bereaved, God. We just ask you to stretch out your hand all over the land and heal in the matchless name of Jesus. God, so many things have happened since 2020 and it's a new year, 2021. Continue to give your body strength right now in the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. 
God, we can't do it without you. Bless our members, Deacon Bishop, Sister Mary, Deacon Phillips, Deacon Robinson, Sister Green, Sister Brown. And my Father, we ask you to put your arms around the preacher of the hour. God, lift him up, God. Strengthen him that he might give a word to your people. Again, my Father, we just can't thank you enough. I don't deserve it. We don't deserve it. But because of your goodness and your mercy, we have been able to, to press on. Press toward the mark of the high calling. Again, my Father, we're praying for those that are sick. We might not be able to go into the hospitals like we used to go in. But God, we know that you are omnipresent. That you can be present everywhere. Oh God, and for this we say thank you. And my Father, don't forget about our congregation. Continue to bless them. Continue to bless those that are watching us on live stream. Don't forget about the shepherd of this flock. Pastor Eric Jaden and Good. Yes. Continue to let him have his vision for this church. Yes. Again, my father, we just thank you. We can't thank you enough. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. Yes. I said we thank, thank you. you Lord. Thank we you, Lord. praise you. you. We magnify yeah. you. My father, we give you the glory. I said we give you the glory. Yeah. We can't see it. We can't see it, but we trust that you're going to do it. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And if you do these things, we'll be so graceful to give you all the praise. Not some of the praise, but all of the praise. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. hands and give God the glory hallelujah we certainly pray that you were blessed by that inspiring and enthusiastic prayer thank you to our assistant pastor we're certainly grateful uh, to come again and worship the Lord Jesus Christ listen it is just about that time we don't have church long but it's just about that time when we can hear that proclamation of the glorious gospel Hallelujah. I'm delighted today to have my friend and my brother of over 16 years in ministry, uh, the Reverend uh, William James Scott III, who is the illustrious and eminent pastor of the House of Faith Baptist Church there on 10th and Roosevelt Boulevard. It's been since 2014 since he stepped foot in his pulpit. And, and of course, we went back and forth talking about whose fault it was. And I will not uh, go into that debate but we thank the Lord that he is coming tonight uh, to share with us the word of God and so we're going to have one more uh, sermonic selection and then after that the next voice you'll hear will be that of that prophetic probing profound preacher again from the House of Faith Baptist Church the Reverend William James Scott the third church shout hallelujah. hallelujah clap your hands and give God the glory
mother. Have Jesus. Have Jesus. Oh Lord. Every day I rather, Lord, have Jesus, love and told. I rather have Jesus than all of the houses in all of the lands. Oh, I rather. Put your hands together. This is why we rather have Jesus. You know what he did? Oh, he brought me out. He brought me out. Without a doubt. He saved my soul. He made me all. He set me free. Jesus more than anything and we're thankful to God for that wonderful selection amen from your praise team and your pastor I always get a joy of hearing him um, as he preaches and sings the gospel he sure enough can sing amen and uh, when I grow up I want to be just like him <laughs> amen um, I thank your pastor for this uh, invitation. Um, those of you that are um, listening right now on this live, uh, I need you to do me a favor, press the share button so that we can spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Come on and press that share button right now so that the gospel can be carried forth and that it can help someone 
that you may know of that needs Christ at this very moment. Amen and praise God. Come on and like and share. We thank God for the celebration on Ash uh, Wednesday. And um, there is a word from the Lord um, found uh, in the book of Luke. Uh, Luke's Gospel, chapter 4. And those of you that are here in the building, um, and continue to share that energy with some of your amens if the Lord is blessing you uh, in this word. Uh, Luke chapter 4, verse number 1. I told pastor that I might be a little rusty because I've been on sabbatical at my church for the past month. So... If I mess up, just say, you know, uh, he had a cold or something like that. Uh, after Jesus being filled, full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. And being 40 days tempted of the devil... And in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. Thus ends the reading of God's word. I want to talk with you for a few moments, if it's God's will. I want to talk about a wilderness experience. A wilderness experience. So we look at the word wilderness. Wilderness can be defined as a neglected or abandoned area. It can also be defined as an empty or pathless area or region. It can also be defined as a bewildering situation. And for many of us, we have been in the wilderness experience where we have felt all alone. We have felt isolated from others. And we have felt drained from the experience we have encountered. Uh -huh. Everything we have encountered from 2020 and 2021 has been much of a load and weight that has not been easy for us. Yes, Are you praying with me? Yeah. We have suffered much loss and anyone that anyone could ever imagine. Uh -huh. We have suffered as things like COVID-19 which makes us feel like we are in the wilderness. Yeah. We have suffered job laws, yeah. which will make us feel like we're in the wilderness. Oh, we have not only suffered job laws, but we also have suffered sickness. We've suffered death of loved ones, police brutality, and even insurrection. And these things have left us exhausted and drained. And sometimes for many of us, we feel that these moments puts us at a breaking point. And many of you know that when you are at a breaking point, you can come to a place in your life when you are vulnerable. Yeah. And here, brothers and sisters, as we look at the life of Jesus in this season... We not only study his walk, but also we study his journey into the ministry. However, we've come to understand that before he went into full ministry, he had to go through what we call a wilderness experience. Are you praying with me? He had to prepare himself for the work that was set before him. And for many of us, we are not prepared for what is laid or set before us. I wish I had a witness in here. Jesus was at the point where he was moving into the name that he will be identified as the coming Christ. 
He is fulfilling what was prophesied in the Old Testament. In Isaiah chapter 7 verse 4. Therefore the Lord himself will give us a, a sign. Behold the virgin shall conceive and bear a son. And you shall call his name Emmanuel. He was preparing for what would be told in Zechariah chapter 9 verse 9. Rejoice greatly daughter Zion. Shout daughter Jerusalem see your king comes to you righteous and victorious lowly and riding on the donkey on a colt and uh, on four of a donkey he was coming where Isaiah 11 ch chapter 11 verse 1 says we know he is from the line of Jesse uh, the father of King David uh, a shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse from his roots uh, a branch will bear fruit the spirit of the Lord will rest on him and we see his journey from a baby lying in a manger to being the lost kid in the temple at the age of 12 to being baptized in the river of Jordan and, and now we see him walking into destiny you remember him being in the river in the river of the Jordan with John and as he is baptized and dipped into water that's the first time we receive the father and the son and the Holy Ghost at the same time present in scripture and the Lord says this is my beloved son who I am well pleased and the Bible says and the spirit of the Lord uh, descending on him like a dove yes, sir. Yes, sir. and with him walking he lays uh, a demonstration for all of us uh, that no matter what you are called to do uh, you must be baptized uh, and make it known uh, that you are doing an outward show uh, for inward change uh, and I wonder is there anybody in here that can thank God uh, that when you did an outward show uh, you came to Jesus uh, just as you was uh, weary wood in sin but you founded him uh, a resting place tell somebody uh, it was not only the water uh, that signified uh, my commitment to God uh, but it was something that changed my heart he knew that he had to be filled with the Holy Ghost in order to do the work that was laid out before him and the Bible says after somebody say after hmm, after he was baptized he was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness and for many of us we are sometimes surprised where God leads us as he is preparing us for the next step in life at times, God would lead you into wilderness moments. Just as Jesus fasts for 40 days and 40 nights, he fasts in order to get closer to God. And just because you are under the Spirit doesn't mean that you have inter un uninterrupted peace. Let me say that one more time. Just because you are under the spirit, that doesn't mean you have uninterrupted peace. Being in the wilderness will bring some interruption. I wish I had a witness in here. Being in the wilderness will bring you some trouble. And I want you to know that interruption will come even after you are under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. You cannot avoid trouble from coming to where you are because Satan comes to those that are strong in Christ. He comes to those that are strong in God. He comes to those that are set out for the work. What does interruption look like? Interruption looks like a thief that comes in the night. What does interruption look like? It looks like things that will haunt you. I wish I had a, wish in the, a witness in here. It looks like things that will taunt you. But you must remember that you are in the care of God. And when you are in the care of God, God will never leave you nor forsake you in wilderness moments. Satan comes to Jesus with the 
purpose to tempt Jesus and drive him away of what he knows that Jesus is capable of. But here, brothers and sisters, we notice how Jesus moves. The Bible said he is led by the Holy Spirit. which will give us an indication that he prayed before he went into the wilderness. I wish I had a witness in here. Somebody got to understand that you got to pray while you're in the wilderness. That's my first point. How is it that we know that Jesus prays in the wilderness? First of all, the evidence of him praying means that he is fasting. Lord have mercy. The evidence rather of him fasting means that he is praying. And then we notice that as he is in prayer, the Bible says the spirit leads him. I want to let you know that the spirit can can lead you if you are not praying that's why you got some people that will show up in a church meeting and try to cause all kind of hell you know that it ain't the Lord that led them it was nothing but the devil that led him because the Lord if he leads you that means you got to be praying and have a connection with the Lord is there anybody in here can say that when I speak on God's behalf I make sure that I have a connection with God Satan, watch this. Satan comes to Jesus three times. Somebody said three times. You must know that Jesus is a bad boy. I wish I had a witness in here. I said Jesus is a bad boy. He must be putting a whipping on the devil in order for him to keep coming to him time and time again. And some of you think that you are so unlucky because you are being visited by the enemy time and time again. But I've come to understand however that that this shows that you are victorious somebody shout out you are victorious because if the devil keeps showing up more and more you have to understand that you are strong in God if there's a reason why he keeps coming to you more and more that means you must be a threat amen to his kingdom is there anybody in here that says I'm going to tear Satan's kingdom down he comes to Jesus three times and every time he comes to Jesus, Jesus is always prepared. Let me say that one more time. I said every time he comes to Jesus, Jesus is always prepared. When you are under the spirit, make sure you're ready for anything that may try to come at you. Which brings me to my second point. Not only brothers and sisters, must you be prayed up when you're in the wilderness, but you must be prepared. Somebody shout out prepare. You must be prepared if you are in the wilderness. The devil says to Jesus, if you are the son of God, make these stones into bread. But then what happens is Jesus is prepared. How do you know he's prepared? Because Jesus comes with the word and he says right here in the scripture, you shall not live Oh, by bread alone but by every word of God and Jesus responds with the word which lets us know that he reads his Bible I want to know when people cuss at you what is your response I wish I had a witness in here I know that the Lord says though he slay me yet will I trust in him I know that my Bible says greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world I know that the word says that it rains on the just as well as the unjust are you prepared for what's coming Satan comes a second time and says, worship me and I will give you power over all the kingdoms. But Jesus, he really knows his Bible because he comes back again the second time and says, it is written that you shall not tempt the Lord thou God. And I want to let you know, don't you let no devil and neither number 45 tempt you to forget about how God has been good to you. See, the devil will try to make you think that you can be bought tell somebody I won't be I'm not bought by money Lord have mercy I can't be bought by money I 
can't be bought by riches but my I am redeemed bought with the price Jesus has changed my whole life I wish I had a witness in him Jesus realized that the devil can try to give him what he can but Jesus realized that the devil cannot give what Jesus already has it says it right here in the scripture he says I give you all of the world and I give you all of the riches if you bow down to me Lord have mercy but you can't give what Jesus already have and I need somebody in here when the devil tries to tempt you you ought to be able to say to yourself that my father has cattle over a thousand hills I wish I had a witness in here I know that my God watches over me cause his eyes is on the sparrow you can't tell me devil if I am really the son of God I know that I am because I was in the beginning when he says let us in the beginning create man I am the word the word made flesh and you have to understand if Jesus can identify who he is you ought to be able to identify who you are tell somebody I am a child of God the devil comes one more time tell somebody he comes one more time well that's how the devil does when he can't get you once he can't get you twice he'll try to get you three times he comes to him one more time and says you need to jump off this pinnacle and see if the Lord will cover you for it says in the word that he'll have his angels charge over you but don't you let that devil trip you with the word don't you know the devil knows the word too don't you know there are people in the congregation that ain't full of the spirit but some of them are filled with evil spirits and will try to get you all tangled up wondering with the word but tell somebody know your word stay prayed up be prepared and then thirdly and finally be ready I wish I had a witness in here I need everybody to shout it out be ready Jesus at this point he knew what the devil was doing the first time he knew what he was doing the second time and this time he says to himself I gotta be ready he tells him Satan get behind me I wish I had a witness in here Jesus knew how to apply the word and this when he says thou shalt not tempt the Lord thou God I wish I had a witness in here Jesus had assurance that God was with him and is there anybody in here as I get ready to close that know that God will be with you there's nothing that you need to prove but all you need to do is just trust in the one that gives you hope tell somebody my hope is built on nothing less but then Jesus Christ and his righteousness I dare not trust the sweetest frame but wholly lean on Jesus name on Christ the solid rock I stand on all of the ground is sinking sand. Haven't got a witness in here. Three times the devil came to Jesus. But every time that the devil came to him, Jesus says that man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And every time I turn around, I've learned how to depend on his word have I got a witness in here when he came the second time he says get behind me he said it is written that thou shalt worship the Lord thy God that's why every time when I come to the house of God I make sure that I worship him because the Bible says they that worship him must worship him in spirit 
and in truth have I got a witness in here and when he came the third time he says thou shalt not temper the Lord thy God and I want to tell you when you feel like you're in a temptation moment when you feel like throwing in the towel you ought to be able to lean on his word is there anybody in this room is there anybody in this room is there anybody in this room that can say that I'm ready for what the devil would try to throw up in my face before I was troubled but this time I believe that God can answer my prayer I believe that God can bring me out I don't gotta tip God cause every time I'm in trouble he keeps pulling me out have I got a witness in here you may be in the wilderness moment but don't forget that the Lord didn't bring you this far to leave you now can I get a witness and when you done done all the stand stand anyhow I said stand anyhow is there anybody in here that's going to trust in God in your wilderness moments so in this season as you're fasting and praying make sure that you pray to God for strength make sure that you pray to God that his angels will protect you somebody say all night I wish I had a witness in here all night and all day the angels keep watching over me is there anybody here can thank God for his angels I'm ready for what God has for my life I'm ready for what God has for my church I'm ready for what God has for my family why are you ready because they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as an eagle run not get tired walk and not faint if you're ready for what God has for your life shout like to know it praise him like to know it give God like to know it and shout I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready for what God is about to do if you know that you're ready just wave your hand if you know that you're ready give him praise shout glory shout glory ah, ah, glory ah, glory ah, glory Won't he make a way? 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 I know he will make a way because he died on a Friday. He died so that you could he can make a way. He died one Friday, stayed in the tomb all night Friday stayed in the tomb all day Saturday stayed in the tomb all night Saturday night but early I said early 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 Sunday morning 
then he got up with all But every time I think of his goodness and all he's done for me, my soul says, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yeah! 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 yeah. Jesus, um, <sighs> Lord have mercy. Um, um, there ain't nothing else to say here. <laughs> but for those who are watching us, uh, singers, I know y'all probably somewhere demolished, but come on. <laughs> um, y'all come. Um, Lord have mercy. Oh, God, I want total praise if that's possible. Um, <sighs> the word of the Lord to us has been proclaimed. Uh, we have <laughs> been reminded. We've been reminded to be prayerful, be prepared, to be ready. Um, Satan will come, and as we prepare to enter <clears throat> into this Lenten season, a time when we begin to pull away from things before I do the invitation to discipleship let me speak to someone that's on um, watching us who are Christians these next 40 days Ash Wednesday begins the time of 40 days when we begin to fast and really ask God's blessings it's really for us to get closer to God to get closer in God's word and to get closer to God in prayer the more you get closer to God the more you find yourself getting away from stuff that's not like God and that's what God is looking for and so as we prepare to go into these next 40 days you know what you need to give up for some it may be social media for some of us it might be our phones it might be connections it might be food. Whatever you find that's your biggest hindrance. Thank you, Jesus. This is the time for you to make the decision and say, I want to get closer to God so that God can get glory in my life. Reverend Scott mentioned a word there that was very profound and talked about how the wilderness can be a time of vulnerability. That's when you are at your lowest and that's when you're open for satanic attack. 
when you're trying to get closer to God, always be prepared for satanic attack. And so at this moment, just before I offer the invitation, I want to offer a word of prayer as we are ready to enter into this holy season, asking God's blessing. So wherever you are, bow your head. Let's pray. Hi, God. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for moments like this that call us away from the world. Call us away from sin and things that will distract us. Now, dear God, as we enter into this holy season, I pray for your people. In whatever way your people decide to get close to you, may your spirit lead them as it led your son. Let the spirit not only lead us because Lord, if your spirit leads, it sustains even in the wilderness. Now God, strengthen our faith, strengthen our hope. May this not only be a season where we get closer to you, but may this be a season of miracles. A season where we experience the abundance of God. May in this season you train our voices to hear your voice. Because Lord, sometimes we hear other voices. But God, give us a distinctive ear that we will be able to hear your voice. Thank you, kind Savior. And we bless you now. And we thank you. Consecrate us now to your service, Lord, by that power of grace divine. Let our soul look up with a steadfast hope. And let our will be lost in thine. Let the words of our mouth, meditation of our heart be acceptable in your sight. Oh, Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Come on, clap your hands and give God glory. <laughs> Singers are going to sing for us. There might be someone watching me right now that wants to get to know Jesus. You're not a part of the family of God. Someone say, preach, I'm not perfect. Well, neither am I. Jesus takes everybody. Whether you're crazy, whether you so-called sane, Jesus takes all of us. How do you know? Because I'm one of the crazy ones he took. And so brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get to know Jesus, just simply type in the section, I want to trust Jesus for myself. Singers. Before they do it again, second invitation is extended to those who want to become a part of this church. Or you may want to become a part of House, Hope, House of Faith. It doesn't matter what church you become part of. Listen, my greatest concern is that you are a part of the family of God. There is no perfect church. 
and there is no perfect pastor there is only a perfect Christ and so if you want to become a follower or a member of either church you can come by letter candidate baptism Christian experience just type in the section I want to be a part of either the people's Baptist or a household of faith and either church will be glad to accept you come on singers Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, we thank God for the word of the Lord proclaimed to us by Reverend William J. Scott. We pray God's blessings upon him as he continues in his ministry and through this season. We also pray, brothers and sisters, for you in this season. Let's look to the Lord for the benediction. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for your divine presence. Glory to God. I pray that Lord as we leave this live may you touch somebody right now may you perform a miracle right now in the name of the lord jesus i pray dear god that the word of god that has been sown into their heart will generate and bring about fruit and we thank you god now we leave this place whenever your presence we go in the power and the strength of god now may the love of god the grace of the lord jesus christ Sweet communion of the Holy Ghost. Rest willing about your now henceforth. And here forevermore we sing. Go in peace. The Lord be with you.